No, you're not, dude. Oh, shit. What did the math teacher have to buy me? All right. X times what is X squared? And do you guys agree that's exactly why we put a 5 there? Because 7 times 5 is close enough to 36, right? But here, X times X is X squared. And then what do we do next? 5 times 71, and I put the answer here. So X times X plus 1, I have to distribute X times X. X squared, X times 1, plus X, right? Is that, you guys with me? So that's just like 5 times 71 was 355. And then what do we do? Change the sign. Change the sign. Kick ass. Ruben is like, oh yeah, he said that that way for some weird... So I'm going to change the sign. Yeah, it's a different color, too. Sure. <laughs> Stay with me now. Every step we do for this kind of problem is the exact same step we do with numbers. Again, because they are numbers. There's numbers we don't know yet. Maybe. Keep going. Let's keep going. What's x squared minus x squared? Zero. 3x minus x? 2x. Plus 7. Good. Bring down the 7. x times what is 2x? Yeah. And then you just hear 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 1 is 2. Negative 5. Good. Change the signs. No. Not negative 5. Negative 5. Not negative 5. 7 minus 2. 5. And then how do I write the answer? What do we do here? We put that on top of that. Oh. Oh, yeah. 5, five over, over uh, x plus 1. The part that's really weird is what does this really mean? 52 like that. Does that mean 52 times this? No. Let me just answer that for you before you say yes. It goes into a 52. It means 52 times. plus this. So whenever you see a mixed number, that means like 3 and 1 third means 3 plus 1 third. We just decided not to write that piece. That's one of the most evil. We know 3 and a third is not equal to 1. So 3 and a third can't be multiplication, can it? So it's addition. So what do I put up here? Plus 5 over x plus 1. Now, real quick, just to push this a little bit. Uh, do you remember how I did... 52 times 71 here, right? Stay with me. Come on, you guys. Oh, man. I know. I know. Come watch. If I take... Come here, eraser. If I take the whole part times the whole part, let's see what we get. Just stay with me. Stay with me. This is so freaking awesome. What's x plus 1 times x plus 2? x squared. x squared. 2x and 1x is 3x. Is that cool? Plus 2. How far off is that from what's actually in here? 5. 5 off? Alright, that was... <laughs> so, the remainder for polynomials is how off this guy is for this times this to be exactly this. It's off by 5. If it was this inside, we would have no remainder, but it's 5 off, so we had a 5 out of this remainder. Alright, that is enough. Oh, uh, let's have a quiz. <laughs> I'm going to do a quiz on Monday just on a matrix, right? 3 by 3 solve the matrix. Oh, yeah. So we'll just have one problem. Solve this 3 by 3 matrix. You with me? Like x plus y plus z equals 7. You guys look excited. Good. And then we'll have a quiz on Tuesday. Yeah. What? Yeah. On uh, the first part of chapter five. So five one through five. Let's go up to five four. So two crazy. Yeah. Bring this over. It's on camera. So, Week of quizzes next week. Bye, Jeff. <laughs> Excuse me.